lately I've been on my own shit. I've been in my ages getting rich. Hey y'all, what's up? So, as promised, um, I am giving you guys a, my update on the pregnancy. As of now, I am 13 weeks. Um, by the time you see this video, it'll be like 13 weeks in a couple of days, depending on um, which day I put this out on. Um, I'm trying to go for Sunday, but at the latest Monday, because sometimes, you know, technology be tripping. But anyways, so I am 13 weeks. Um, as you can tell, I'm out of breath. Um, obviously, too, because I just ate and everything like that. Um, if you saw the previous video and you'll see what I made and everything like that um so um but about the pregnancy I am now inside of the second trimester so this would be kind of like a recap on the first trimester um and I'll just pretty much just be talking about like things that I dealt with and everything like that this is baby number three for me and well for us and um this one is definitely different this one's definitely different um and that's kind of giving me like girl vibes but i mean i really want a girl we both do but you know um this one's very different so like i said as you could tell like i'm only 13 weeks so that's just barely over three months and um i'm constantly out of breath and um I'm constantly hungry I'm constantly like tired <laughs> so this is you know and I, I would just be completely like raw with you guys because you know pregnancy is supposed to be this blissful thing as they say you know as they advertise at least you know and granted you know I've had a blissful pregnancy before like my first child blissful I gained a lot of weight but completely blissful start to finish beginning to end like birth off of that you know what I'm saying I mean like postpartum I was exhausted but start to finish I was it was amazing second one with Aiden um that one was blissful as well it's just he kind of gave a little I guess a little scare for my OB so I had to go to like high risk for a few weeks and everything like that but still blissful they had to induce that labor because his heart rate kept just going straight to zero um so you know but other than that blissful right after pregnant right after um birth i was like right back on it like i could move around i was fine you know um stuff like that this one it's like i think i found out i was pregnant when i was about um six weeks along already excuse me excuse me um yeah I was like six weeks alone when I had found out and um I, but I had like how did I oh I went to like a er, the, like the urgent care to pretty much kind of find out um if I was pregnant or not and then I also of course I had to like you know make a, an appointment to see how far along so and then by the time I got there I was like eight weeks and it took about a couple weeks to be able to get there no yeah I was about eight weeks along by the time I was able to be seen. So, um, um, so yeah, so right off the bat, it's like, um, this one's very different, like I said. Um, immediately, morning sickness kicked my ass. I've never dealt with morning sickness. This was the first time. And, it was dreadful completely dreadful it lasted all day um it came from just about anything any taste any smell any like literally anything triggered it um i dealt with uh texture problems meaning like when i would eat certain foods or whatever or even drink certain things the texture of it would then make me nauseous or make me want to throw up um <sighs> I've been out of breath this entire time. I've been bloated. So, like, I've always looked um, further along than what I am. So, and, like, and how I know this is because safely I can suck my stomach in. And, you know, if you, you can't suck your stomach in when there's a baby in there. You see what I'm saying? So, you're only going to be able to suck your stomach in so much 
you know, to where, like, pretty much where the baby is. You see what I'm saying? So, obviously, the baby is very low, you know. So, it's, like, anything really above, like, your pants, where your pants lay is no baby. There's no baby there. <laughs> so, there's no reason for me to look pregnant, pretty much, is what I'm saying. So, that was one of the first signs, aside from, like, me missing my period. That was, like, one of the first signs that I was pregnant. Because so I was like... <clears throat> excuse me I was like why am I like swollen like I'm just like I got puffy just you know like I have this uh beautiful like silky type dress and I couldn't even fit it like on our anniversary and our anniversary was November 1st and I couldn't fit it I could not fit that dress and it sucked because before we went on our anniversary weekend like a couple like a week or two or something like that I was able to fit it because I tried it on and everything like that because we was picking out outfits and how we going whatever you know and then come anniversary day I'm like this dress is not fitting how it's supposed to be fitting you know but I'm not thinking too much of it as like oh am I pregnant no you know so um then um, I also had a moment like during that same weekend that I like threw up out of nowhere stuff like that you know that kind of comes to when you kind of find out that you're pregnant so there's that but and I'm gonna show y'all my belly I'm gonna show y'all what I'm talking about when I say I'm bloated so oh excuse me so this is my stomach okay this is what my stomach is looking like side view you know what I'm saying stretch marks from previous pregnancies but this is what my stomach is looking like and this is not baby so if I suck it in you see what I'm saying this part you see how it's all down here this is baby but like you know it's just like I'm just bloated and I start out that way um excuse me Whew. see even standing up like I don't have my breath but anyways um my day starts off like that pretty much whether I eat or not I'm bloated um um Whew. it's something which is crazy because you know even like when it comes to eating that's another thing too with eating um it's very subjective excuse me also with bloatedness i'm always i'm always gassy i'm always burping and it's so like obviously burping is normal right but like when you're constantly burping like some 40 year old man with a beer belly like that shit is ugh. <laughs> And it's, it makes me feel really disgusting. I feel like a pig. But anyway, it's hormones. There's nothing you can do about that. Um, but yeah, like eating, like, so I talked about morning sickness. And it was, like, completely dreadful. But something that I found out, something else that this pregnancy told me about that, which is kind of crazy, like, that I wish I knew about before I got pregnant type of thing, is there's this thing called food aversions. And... That just means that foods that, you know, that you used to f love, like, love, you cannot eat them. You can't eat them. They make you completely sick. You just completely rebel against whether it be the smell, the taste, both. Like, it disgusts you to your core, and that broke my heart. Like, I can't, as far as a short list goes, I cannot eat anything that has garlic, onion, and I'm talking about, like, seasoning or actual garlic or onion. Um, I can't eat, have anything with, um, with mangoes in it. I cannot have meat of any kind. Some dishes that I'm finding, though, is very subjective. Like, if I make a, a steak, I can eat the steak. If I make, a, like, how I made, um, chicken tacos, um earlier i was that's why i was so happy like thank god i can eat chicken taco because it's been a while since i've made them and you know what i mean so stuff like that like um we ate at um this place here um this new place called uh, taco trail um shout out to him um by the way um and i was so happy that i can because it's my birthday and he took me to get like a, a massage which was very oh, it was blissful but um the best besides this pillow the best birthday gift for sure um that pillow is something nice but anyway um yeah so taco trail we ate there um and it was so good 
it was so good it was so good and it had chicken in it so i was able to eat that but say like how i love hamburger hut they hot wings um i can't eat that anymore like we ate it so like um i tried one time like a while ago he got hamburger hut and i was like you know what let me try a wing and the fact that i could eat it i i literally came to tears like that's how that's how and like you could think of it like oh it's so dramatic it's like think of your favorite food right right now think of your favorite food and then think of like what it would be like if you just out of nowhere go to eat your favorite food and it literally makes you gag and you cannot eat it it's not dramatic it sucks it sucks so bad but so yeah so i was like good so i ate some with him the next time we went I ate some but the third time we went and this isn't like they were close together the third time we went I could not eat it so I was like okay cool back to square one basically you know but um stuff like that um I'm trying to think something else that has meat in it it's, it's very very subjective which doesn't make any sense because I feel like oh if I can eat chicken I should be able to eat chicken if I can't I can't you know but whatever um what else can I eat? Peanut butter. Cannot eat peanut butter at all, which sucks because peanut butter is thick and it, it fills you up and is is a good protein. So it's like I'm basically over here trying to like figure out different ways, like like that on a fly, trying to figure out how to incorporate protein into my diet. You know what I mean? Because basically, in a sense, everything with protein I can't eat, or it's like subjective excuse me <laughs> so I'm trying to figure things out and you know um oh that's another thing like deli sandwiches but anyway I think I think technically you're not even supposed to eat deli sandwiches but I'm not sure because honestly I've had subway and porta subs all through my pregnancies you know what I mean so it's like I don't I don't really know what that's about necessarily but I don't know um i started off really well being able to eat subway and then like now i can't eat subway anymore um i tried the other day i tried a, a veggie sandwich from porta subs it was really good but i knew at that moment that that was the last the first and the last time i was gonna eat that sandwich stuff like that but um i'm really trying to just think of some like good things to say <laughs> Um, aside from like, you know, growing the baby and everything like that, I mean, everything else is like miserable to be real with you. Um, because I'm like always tired, like always tired. I, I will literally get these things called, I call them at least, I don't know if it's a real thing, but I call them sleep spells. And, and I would literally, literally just go to sleep and I don't know that I fell asleep until like obviously until I wake up and I wake up like hella confused because I'm like when the hell did I go to sleep you know and I'll be like exhausted like dirt tired and this can happen from me doing something like say like right now if I just get completely tired okay I did a whole lot today you see what I'm saying y'all came with me y'all seen what I what all I did you know or it can be something that literally hits me in the morning like I'll literally like wake up in the morning and be completely exhausted and if I have stuff to do say if the kids got school that day or whatever you know I have to still do stuff you know what I mean but it's so t it's hard to to get things done you know what I mean when you when when you're very tired as soon as you wake up so there's that um and also having to like I mean I have three boys really four counting and I have a, an entire house to pick up after and before you try to come up after before you try to come after aunt for that i mean he works a, a lot so he works a lot it's not like he's just like you know um not helping like he helps around the house but the times that um that he works and how like that kind of correlates like with my day he's only like he's only able to be helpful like only like a couple of hours out of the day you see what i mean so it's not like, oh, he's just choosing not to help me at all. It's just like I just have a lot of stuff to do. And by him working at the times that him, he's working, and obviously once you're done working a freaking 10-hour shift, you want to come home and go to sleep. So you get what I'm saying? So it's like you have to get your sleep because, like, say if I deprive him of his sleep, 
and make him help me with so many things, he's going to be tired, which then he's going to underperform at work, which then, you know, whatever, it's a whole like thing. So anyways, so I had to clarify that before anybody decides to jump in the comments like, he should help you because you're pregnant and all this stuff. Y'all don't have to send the goons my way, baby. He is helping me. <laughs> so, um, but, you know, I just get really tired. And I just love that he's as understanding as he is. You know what I mean? Because this stuff is very, this pregnancy is very difficult. I'm trying to, like, figure out ways to kind of, like, push through it, basically. So I can do all the things that I need to do. Like, the fact that today was such a good day that I was able to do all that I did, all the things that y'all came with me to do, oh my goodness, like, oh my goodness, <laughs> and then I have to then take all of that footage that you're seeing right now, I have to take this, and then I have to edit it, and I have to, you know what I'm saying, so I have a lot on my plate right now, thankfully though, the, the boys are gone, and they have like an extra day off this week so I don't even have to get them until Monday night thank you Jesus <laughs> so but yeah but I mean oh actually now that that kind of caught my eye another thing not food related but another thing that kind of gets me is perfumes and lotions which sucks because your girl you know I likes to smell nice you know what I mean I likes to spread myself with the Bath and Body Works and the Victoria's Secrets and shit like that you know what I mean but it's like for some reason like sweet smells or something whatever it is I'm not necessarily sure specifically what it is but they are a big trigger and it makes me kind of nauseous but I push through that and I just be like okay once it kind of you know like when you spray yourself and after it kind of like uh, what's the word like settles in or whatever you don't really smell yourself anymore now at this point it's like okay now everyone around you can just smell your perfume instead of you I wait for that moment and then once that moment comes and it's like okay we're fine so I just like kind of just thug it through that that time frame and then I'm fine but other than that everything is pretty cool you know I like it's not like too bad but you know I just want to like for the first trimester usually um is the hardest so I mean Usually, if you have like an easy first trimester, you're gonna pretty much have a, a easy pregnancy as it is. You know what I mean? Unless like something just decides to come up at some random time during your second or third trimester, but we're not there yet, so I don't know. So pray for me, y'all, because I really <laughs> let me tell you something. <laughs> I don't wanna. I don't wanna go into like labor and birth and all that stuff like piss like get this baby out because this baby is fucking me up like you know what I mean like I want like from here on out at least somewhere around this week next week something from there to labor and birth I want it to be like smooth please because this first trimester took me out like I don't know how I, I slept so much you would think that I would be like rested and I'm not like I'm tired now <laughs> tired out of breath and I need something sweet <laughs> and I don't know what that is so we gotta find out together maybe ice cream I don't know we're gonna figure it out but I want to kind of like keep this a little bit brief you know what I'm saying just a little first trimester thing also want to let you guys know that I will be doing I'm not necessarily sure how I want to set everything up Okay, so y'all gotta bear with me. I'm trying to like figure some stuff out, okay? Um, but I wanna do, I, I'm thinking about like a weekly thing. Sorry, I have a cat and she like scared the shit out of me just now. She was like doing random things. Anyways, um, I'm thinking about doing like a weekly thing. So like let me know below if that's like the thing that y'all are into. Um, I don't wanna do a trimester by trimester. That's only like three videos. So but I'll figure something like that out. But I always I will always have like a, a trimester update what I, pretty much what I'm doing now. But I'm thinking about doing like a weekly thing. So next week you will get like a 14 week update type of thing. Um and you know y'all do just like y'all come with me to like doctor visits and everything like that. So I think my next one we'll find out the gender. I think the next one we find out the gender, y'all. Okay. So, and I will be doing a virtual gender reveal. So, I know normally people do like the gender reveal within like the baby shower. I'm not going to do that because I'm original. 
or at least you know i feel like i don't think i've ever seen that but due to COVID, <laughs> um i'm going to be doing a virtual gender reveal so you are all welcome to that and then i will of course be announcing when that will be and it will be live and everything like that but of course the live will still be recorded um and documented and everything like that so you can watch it in case you miss it or whatever but it will be a virtual gender reveal um you guys also will be able to come virtually of course to the baby shower whenever i have the baby shower um and we will be setting up a p.o box in case you know y'all want to show some love and send us something for the baby once you find out the gender you know everything is appreciated um and i know we just starting and everything like that but who cares you know what i mean like we have people that of course would love, like to show us some love so once we do find out the gender i will be then letting you guys know if we do um open up a p.o box so you guys can send all your love your gifts whatever it is that you would like to send us to the p.o box for the baby or for us or whatever you know and like i said anything is appreciated so um in closing before i run out of all my breath <laughs> We love you guys, and this is Aunt Embry's World. Come and be a part of our family. We have a new baby growing inside, even though the baby's giving me hell. We are adding another one to the family, and we hope to add you all to our family as well. So make sure that you like, you comment, and you subscribe, and I would like to thank you for watching this video. And if you want to see all the other videos from what I did today, they will be linked down below as well, okay? So... Like I said, we love you guys. Come be a part of our world and watch this baby grow and watch our channel grow and just all these types of things, okay? <laughs> so, with that being said, I'm going. Lately, I've been on my own shit. I've been in my ages getting rich.